Welcome to my workshop. So the concrete's gonna be right up against these, just like it is in this guy. Um, but we don't want the concrete to slip out. We don't want the inside to slip out. So we're gonna cut grooves on the inside of the PVC. So let's go do that. Got some grooves cut in there, kind of deep, just enough for the concrete to grab. So next up, we're gonna screw this to the table because it's gonna be our core. And we're gonna take some metal flashing from Home Depot and put it around the core, uh, put this right in the middle, fill it with concrete all around the inside and hope for the best. So you're gonna need a scale because we're gonna measure our concrete before we mix the water into it. So I'm basically just using leftover concrete here. We're gonna weigh it out. Okay, we got a 50 pound bag instead of this leftover 80 pound bag. So, so we weigh it when it's dry, mix the water in, and when it cures, the water obviously evaporates, and then it should weigh exactly what we weighed it out to be before we mixed it. So it's probably gonna be, I, I'll do 26, because the, the weight of the bucket's at least a pound. That's good, let's mix some water. Don't wanna mix too much water. All right. Let's keep mixing. I think that's perfect, actually. And if you're replicating a size of another weight, you wanna put that weight down, take your flashing, wrap your flashing around your mold if you're using one. So we're gonna tape the outside, we're gonna tape the inside. So we've got a little plug here. Put the plug on top. This whiteboard, um, I recommend using it. It's that weird shelving material. Um, it's not like a wood top. It's like kind of plasticky for like, you know, they use it for shelving and stuff. That's gonna make it 10 times easier for your concrete to like separate from the board once it dries. Because if it's real wood, it's gonna soak into the wood. That You don't want that, because when it dries, you wanna be able to pull it off right nice and easy. It also makes the concrete super smooth when you pull it off. All right, let's pour some concrete. And make sure that pipe is right in the middle when you pour in the sin. I'm not gonna pour it, I'm actually gonna scoop it. Just much easier. And don't drop it in too rough because it's gonna move the flashing around which will throw you off center. The next step is going to be just patting this more and just like hitting the top of it, patting it for a while so that all the air bubbles rise to the surface because the air bubbles are going to weaken this concrete a lot and like you drop this thing on, on another hard surface like concrete or a floor, or basement floor, or whatever, it's going to crack after a while so you want to get all the air bubbles up so it's nice and strong. There is a better way to get the air bubbles out of your weight and that is to vibrate the surface that the concrete is sitting on. Um, so to do that, we're just gonna smack it with a hammer for five minutes. So all around the weight. So do this for like three, four, maybe five minutes and until you start seeing less and less air bubbles come up, it's gonna strengthen your weight so much. It is now day two and it's like seven something p.m. So it's about 24 hours later and we're gonna check out how our weight is doing. It's definitely like off center from banging the, the edges, but um, that's okay. Let me just take our flashing off. Looks pretty good. This thing's gonna be curing for like another four or five days. So it's not gonna weigh exactly 25 right now. It's gonna be a little bit heavier because the water's still curing, still evaporating. Yeah, you definitely need to leave the weights on top to keep the flashing tight to the board so that you don't get too much runoff because that's going to affect the shape of the weight. Um, there's nice corners on the top edge, but the bottom edge is going to be a little bit sketchier because of the runoff and then it dries. If you use the right type of board, not actual wood, um, this laminate stuff, it should, well, yep, real easy. It should come up real easy. So just chip this stuff off. I mean, you could totally take a sander to this or a grinder or whatever, try to smooth it out. So yeah, that is the bottom, super smooth. Um, the top's a little rough. And then just take a grinder to that and be good.
So the Flex Seal is making like a rubber layer on it and I just, I spread it super thin because the 32 ounce container is like $32 so um, I definitely want to preserve it. 